yeah, that's 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 not ideal. Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Timberborn. Uh, we are right at the start of the drought, well, sort of one day into the drought. Um, I have taken some suggestions on board, and I have done a little bit of, or I am in the process of doing a little bit of redesigning uh, of things. So, up here, uh, I am replacing it all with levees and just three uh, dams. Okay, because, oops, I want to get rid of that, there we go. Uh, as people in the comments saw, uh, pointed out, and I'll pop their names up in, in captions, um, we have five water sources, so that's how much exit flow we need. So I've set up three um, dams over here, and I'm rebuilding over here with two dams. So that should stop the flooding, whether that's going to provide enough water through here to uh, to power this well that remains to be seen but we will see that what I might do or what I could do is if I replace that with a t-junction uh, I could put levees in across here and put another water wheel in there because that would narrow this whole thing down to two which would be more than enough to to cope with what we're uh, bringing out of this main flow that's worth thinking about. Oh, they've nearly finished this, so as soon as they have, I can get rid of these uh, dams here. Um, this might be slightly more tricky. I don't know if they're going to be able to reach these, because it's at a diagonal. So, uh, but Once they've built these, I can just bring the path along and they'll be able to get in there. And then I can demolish all of this rubbish behind here. Yeah. So that's what's going on there. Everything else is going okay. Uh, we have over 700 water. Um, we only have, I think, these three pumps going at the moment. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. So, obviously these three are in the deeper water. This one's going to run out, probably. Depends how much water we get through. But we're reasonably full. So we should be okay. Um... We are producing uh, research at a reasonable pace because we have three inventors. We have nine unemployed uh, and only two available beds. So I'm going to put in another lodge. Uh, and we want a mirrored lodge. Yes, we do. Look at that. So that should give us more um, housing space. Hmm... Honestly, there's not a lot I can do other than spin on. Wait until everything up here is done. Uh, demolish the, the old bits and then wait for the end of the drought. So I should probably do that. There we go. That's the drought over. Uh, we did fine. Uh, 450 water still remaining. Uh, 1,400 food. So yeah, we're doing okay. Um, obviously, our production of things like gears is a bit slower because we've only got this one little windmill um so this is running at yeah six between 60 and, and 80 percent generally but we're about to get the water back so we can test our new dam setup see how it works yeah hopefully it'll be fine um i haven't put in anything over here yet but i was very much thinking that it would be worth uh, replacing this. So let's do that first. Uh, we want it like that. There we go. And we will prioritise that and get that done. Okay. Next. Oh, this did dry out. This dried out on about the last day. So we did okay here. Um, we definitely want to deepen this when we get access to uh, explosives. Um, we currently have five housing. Um... We did only have two, but we've had some deaths, so. Um, yeah, next. Hmm, good question. I do think we want to look towards um, things like paper. I think that would be good. Let's, let's have a look. Food-wise, we could open an aquatic farmhouse, but we're doing okay for food at the moment. Um, 400 for a beehive, 
again, we're doing okay. Um, don't need any of this at the moment. Housing, moving towards a triple lodge would be a good idea. Um, because as someone mentioned, oh, thank you, autosave. Uh, as someone mentioned in the comments, uh, I believe this is true. Power still flows through, um, uh, lodges. And so if we stack lodges from this layer up to the top, we can feed power in there and use the uh, lodges to transfer power down to, to this area. So that would be uh, one way of doing things. And obviously the triple lodge is, is bigger, so we, we don't need as many of them. So that would be uh, one way of doing it. The other would be stringing power through these uh, high power shafts, which, yeah, I mean, it's... probably less resource intensive than building um, lodge buildings, but it doesn't look as pretty. So there is that. Right, how's our water doing? We are nearly at the point where it's going to start flowing through, I think. There we go. It's just starting. There we go. Yeah, it was defying physics for a second there. This is filling up. Okay, right. I will, in that case, what am I going to do? Paper mill only needs 80 horsepower. Right. Let's have a look. That has been done. Good. Let's shrink that down. And we will put in, where are we? Power. Water wheel. Another water wheel there. Uh, we will again use, uh, actually we'll use a cross intersection there like so. That means we can actually continue this up if we need to. Right, water is starting to flow down here. These should start turning. There we go. And... Yeah, 190. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, but we'll narrow this down. That should pick up and hopefully won't flood because we are only letting two tiles worth of water through. So that should be fine. I mean, we're already producing nearly 400 off of there, so that's good. Still got a little bit of flooding, that's unfortunate, but that should disappear. And stay disappeared, hopefully. And it's probably because we're putting in these levees, so we're disrupting the, the water flow as it's coming in. Um, this, not flowing so much. Oh, there we go. This shouldn't be as erratic now, because we have balanced the amount of water coming out of here. So, in theory, this should be flowing at a reasonable pace. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be, does it? Oh, well, we'll, we'll give it a couple of days, wait for the water to come back fully and, and flow through this area and all of that, and we'll see where we get to. Right, I've played on for a couple of days. This is still yeah, quite full. We've had uh, minor breaches of the banks here. Um, but over here, this flow is still very erratic. So, I, I don't know. Maybe cut this down to one dam? But then I'm wondering we're not going to have enough water flowing to power these. We're getting 700-odd um, horsepower out of these at the moment, which is great. Um, and I am going to... Yes, I'm going to unlock the paper mill and pop that on there. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I do have this kind of earmarked for additional planting, but at the moment we're okay for food. Uh, the only thing we could really do with more of is sunflower seeds. Um, we are running low on water though, so I'm going to uh, open these pumps up again, which isn't going to help because this isn't filling up particularly quickly. Um, over here... Oh, it's done. Good. Uh, I have put in uh, a replacement for our three dam situation over here. Uh, drop that down to one dam. Over here, they are in the process of doing this. Uh, I'm dropping this down to one dam as well. Uh, and that's the kind of restrict the flow through here. Hopefully we won't get flooding. But I want to sort of encourage any water that does come in to come this way. 
or as much as possible, which might mean replacing one of these with a, a dam as well, uh, with a levee as well, rather, to sort of restrict that flow. Yeah. Don't know. Don't know. Oh, we got more flooding down here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's do this then. There we go. We'll drop that down to one. And then we'll we'll delete that once that's constructed. Hopefully that will help. That will actually restrict it too much, because that will be... That's probably going to cause flooding up here. Because now we've only got four tiles trying to let out five tiles worth of water. So... I'm probably going to have to put in another dam here. Yeah. We'll wait until all the other construction work is done before we do that, though. Um, okay, our water is building back up again. Now we've got these two active. That's good. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not ideal. Okay, I'll spin on. Okay. So, our dam up here has been replaced and has slowed the flow through here. Uh, we've dropped down to about 450 to 480 horsepower, which is okay. Um, we haven't had any flooding up here. This seems to be working. It doesn't seem to be... Um, the, the water level here doesn't seem to be massively rising or anything. at the moment uh, water is flowing through here not particularly fast but it is flowing uh, this area is filling up and we're getting a little bit of overspill here um, yeah yeah we're doing all right with mm. so it is getting some power not a huge amount but it is getting some okay that that will have to do for the moment uh, we are waiting over here for the uh, uh, paper mill to be constructed because we are, you know, waiting for gears. Uh, a gear workshop requires 120 horsepower. Not really something I can do with um, power wheels. So you take 200, and we, that means we've still got 230, 240 left. You only take 80. We could put another gear factory on here. But first... I want to attempt... to narrow this channel all the way down to just two blocks. Because that should increase our power and it shouldn't flood... I mean, it might flood a little bit, just temporarily, whilst it's setting itself up. But otherwise, we should be okay with that. Yes. Okay, right. That means I can put another gear factory on there, can't I? I have the power. Hmm. It's tempting. It is tempting. Right, let me get this up together first. Let me get these um, these levees laid in uh, and narrow this flow. We have got the option of putting another wheel up here. Yeah. Three should be enough for the moment. I might, I might put another gear factory on there. But I will get these levees laid in first. Right, in the meantime, what else are we looking at? We have our scrap collection going on here. We have plenty of scrap. Um, now, what's next? Uh, realistically, we need to open up some more well-being stuff, I think. Um, I want to put this somewhere that is almost certainly going to have water at all times. So, hmm... That's up here, isn't it? All right, let's do that. Let's 
how much are you? 50. We'll unlock showers. And we'll put in three showers up here. Yeah, why not? Okay. Still doing okay for everything else. Right, I will wait until this um, has enough gears to be constructed, and then I'll be back. Okay, so, day seven... Oh, no, day eight of this um, cycle. I have completed the line of uh, levees down here. We've had no repeat of flooding. Uh, we're currently producing 600 horsepower. Um... We have our paper mill in. Although it doesn't appear to be drawing power for some reason. Why not? Do we not have a... Where is our... Oh, you're asleep. Are you? Why are you asleep? It's the middle of the day. Who knows? Maybe they had a late night. I don't know. Anyway, that should be running as soon as Teshi gets out of bed. Um, I'm going to put in uh, another gear workshop in here. Uh, you see I've re rearranged the, the pathing around here to, to make space for it. Um, yeah, uh, I've got a, a warehouse here storing the paper that will be produced again when Teshi gets out of bed. Yeah, I think we're doing all right. The water is flowing. Um, we're not getting a lot of flow around this area. I think we're just going to have to accept that that is the case. Um, maybe take out one of these uh, grist mills and replace it somewhere else. I mean, we could probably put it up there. We've probably still got the power on there to get another grist mill on there. That's probably not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. Let's pause that. We'll wait until the gear workshop is built. Shouldn't be too long. We have all the resources for it, I think. Yes, we definitely do. So that should be built fairly quickly. Um, so let's just immediately put in... Where are we? Grismal. You only need 60 horsepower. That's fine. In you go. We should have more than enough, he says, on here to facilitate that. That's okay. Right. I will spin on until they are done. Okay, we're just waiting for our last gear um, for the uh, grist mill here. Uh, we have 450 science points currently, or nearly 449. So, I'm going to unlock the triple lodge. Yes. Okay, we want to put that... Why won't it go there? It will. Okay, so we want to put one there for a start. Right. How are we going to do this? Let's... Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll do it like this. And we'll bring the path down so they can build all of that. Like so. Right. You have no recipe selected. Um, you're going to be making wheat flour, please. Excellent stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. Our showers are in up here. Oops. There we are, we have some beavers making themselves wet. Well, they seem to be popular. Um, I've put in some more housing over here, but we're already pushing the limit again. Um, we've had a bit of a, a, a birth wave. So we do need the housing, so that'll be good to put in over here. Uh, and if I spread it up here, we then just need to come across onto here to build more power. Uh, in terms of that... A large windmill costs 1,400 science points. The batteries only cost 400, but we're definitely going to want a, a bunch of these up here. Um, preferably sort of hanging off the edge so they've got lots of space to, to drop, because that will give us more potential power. Um, so we're going to need another one, two, three lodges on top of this. Um, and that will only get us to that level. Okay, well, that's not too bad. That's fine. We can we can deal with that. Um, just having a look at how to how to do this. Let's let's lay some things in, shall we? So you're going to go on there like that. 
And then you can go on there like that, and you can go on there like that. That will bring us up to that height. Okay, now we need to put in the complicated arrangement of stairs. So let me do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, there we are. That's our setup for this. Um, I did unlock the, the triple platform um, just for, for down here. Only used one of them, I think. So, yay. But that should be fine. That should all work. Um, this one's going to be a little far from um, everything else, but that that's okay. Uh, we're probably going to want to bring some food over here and store it. Um, that's probably going to be a good idea. Uh, it looks like we've got plenty of bread um, and grilled potatoes. So let's let's put in some storage for that over here. Um, no, that's fine. We'll do that. Okay, so our path is going to come in like so. And then a platform and some steps. There we go. Oh, and a path on top. So we are storing grilled potatoes and bread. There we go. Right. Uh, I, in fact, I will just up the priority on those to get those done first. Okay, that's that. Obviously, that is going to take an absolute age to build. We're down to 36 science points. So I'm going to need to let that build up as well. Um, yeah, so we need 400... 1800 in total but we need to start with 400 that's the the initial thing we can, we can put these little wind, uh, windmills up there to start with as a kind of proof of concept uh and then we can bring the power out around here from the uh uh from the lodges that's the plan anyway uh the other plan is to save up a thousand science points and get ourselves some explosives on the go. I haven't decided which I'm going to do first. I'll have a think. Okay, day 15, and the flood has just... Earth uh, flood. The drought has just arrived. Okay, I got flooding on the brain. Well, all, obviously all of this is going to shut down. So none of this is going to be working um, over the drought. This might keep working. What I'll do is I'll pause the gear workshop. So any power is just going to be going to the uh, to the grist mill here. So that'll keep us going with food. Uh, we've got 850 water at the moment. Uh, I'm going to shut off these two water pumps. Uh, I have one over here in this little bit of deeper water here, uh, which I'm going to leave running for a little while. Um, it's going to be six days, which is gonna be okay oh i put in a thank you water save uh, i put in a, a medium water tank over here as well just to up our storage a little bit so that's where we are our um stack of lodges is coming on really well um this one i have paused for the moment we have four housing spaces but we have a lot of children like like a lot of children <laughs> um yeah, we really do need more jobs for people, but uh, at the moment, don't really have anything. Um, what can I do? I could pop some stairs up there. That gives us access to this area as well. Maybe use that for planting. Um, where are we? There we are. Um, we don't really need anything. I mean, more wood, but we're doing okay for wood. Don't know. Uh, but we have 240 science points at the moment. Um, so we're still slowly creeping towards whichever option we choose. I do think that batteries is probably the sensible option to choose. But I've never been accused of being, you know, sensible. I should, I should, shouldn't I? I should just go the battery route. 
I've already started and we can bring the power out here and link it up to these wheels, couldn't we? Yes, yes we could. And that would be connected to that grid then. Ooh, okay, yes, I've made the decision. We are going for the batteries. That's what we're going for. So we need 400. Yes, 400. And then we need to come across here and, and figure out how we're going to do all that. Um, getting up here, obviously, the best bet is just to build a um, stack of platforms across. I don't think that's what we're looking at, too. That's five wide. I don't think I'd be able to put a bridge on a platform. Pretty sure I can't do that. So it would have to be platforms. That should be okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Right. I'll stop blabbering on and I will spin on. Um... Hopefully I'll be able to get to the end of the the drought. Uh, and then we'll see if there's any flooding problems up here um, with the new setup. So yes, I will spin on. Okay, that's the end of the drought. Uh, still 360 odd water left. Uh, 1.6 thousand food. Yeah, we've done absolutely fine. Um, up here, the water level, obviously we're not draining anything from here except for showers and I don't know how much that actually takes out so it shouldn't take too long before it starts um, flowing over uh, over here everything is complete and I've put in a bridge well a, a platform bridge across the here uh, I've put in a, a lumberjack to clear out all of these dead trees um, and what we can start doing is laying in some windmills so they have to be two apart. But there's something in the way there. Oh, that tree's in the way. Okay, we'll start with three there like that. Um, that will do for now. We'll connect these. Like so. That one, please. Thank you. And we have 543 science points. So, we can unlock the gravity batteries. Yes, please. Uh, and for these, we are going to want as big a drop as possible. That's, that's, that's not bad. Um, we'll think about that. We'll wait for these to be built, and we'll, we'll think about where to put the, the batteries. I'm thinking sort of off the edge here would, would probably be easiest. Um, we would need to build up platforms out, obviously. Um, unless... Unless... I mean... I could, couldn't I? And it shares power. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's let's stick one on there to start with, and we'll see how much that can uh, can store. I mean, it does mean we can't now connect another stack of lodges next to it, but that's fine. We'll just build housing elsewhere. Okay. I mean, we can still build across the bottom. Just yeah, maybe not. Hmm. That has made me reconsider, actually. No, no, we'll keep that for now. We'll keep that for now. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we have 33 unemployed. Which is quite a lot, I will grant you. Um, so, we need... Now... Either... 1,400 science points. Or... 1,000. Obviously, a thousand is going to be easier to get to. And it gives us explosives. So that's what we're going for. Right. Uh, let me... Oh, we've got water returning here a little bit. Uh, it's already returning here. Okay, that's good. Uh, these are starting to turn. 
Um, what are we getting? 200 horsepower. Right, let's turn on the gear workshop again. Uh, we're starting to um, run out of gears, so that's good. This has just started up. So the power generated is rising fairly rapidly. Should start overflowing any second. There we go. Okay, 75. Yeah, that's still going. Still climbing. Good, good. Uh, we might get some flooding. We've got some flooding. Okay. How serious is this flooding going to be? Not too bad. Go on, recede. Okay. Is that corner too tight? Are we going to need to remove that? To alleviate that little bit of flooding. Maybe. That's something to think about. But for explosives, I'm thinking about first deepening this whole section. Getting ourselves much more water in this section here. I might do the same here. I don't know yet. Um, everything else should be fine for the moment. Uh, but that's what I'm aiming at. So I will spin on. Uh, we've got one windmill in. Already producing 72 horsepower. Going nowhere, but, but still. Uh, so we'll get those set in first, and then I'll be back. Okay, there we go. Day seven. And, I mean, if we can get rid of the pause tokens, we'll be able to get a better look at what, uh, what we've got. We have ourselves six uh, windmills up here. Obviously, they're producing nothing at the moment. Um, oops. Uh, I have laid in a little power shaft across there. Uh, obviously, nothing is running at the moment. But we can unlock the high power shaft. Yeah. And if we turn it around like that, we can pop it in there. And we can pop another power shaft in there. Our gravity battery here is done. And stores 20,000 horsepower hours. Or possibly beaver power, I don't know. Which is great. So that's a good proof of concept. That, that's a lot of power. If we can get a couple more of those um, set up over here. Uh, at the same sort of height. That will be great. Um, and then we can just hook this in to here. So how am I going to do that? Well, we want to keep this bit clear. So I guess we're going to come out of the back like that. And that means we need to be able to get to it. So we'll do that and bring ourselves a path along. Uh, and we'll string the power along there and drop it down into the back here. Yes, we want to come out about here. So let's have a look. There, and we'll put in uh, a pair of those. Just the job. Oh, actually, no, I won't. No, I won't. I will put in a platform there. Uh, and then we'll put a straight shaft there. And then we'll drop down, because that means we can continue a path out this way. If we need to. I can't really see any reason at the moment why we would, but it, that will make it easier. Um, and that means we can also put in the connector shaft there. Okay, right. I will spin on one more time. Uh, I will continue this um, power arrangement along, uh, and then I'll be back. There we go. Okay, everything is coming through. I mean, we're still not producing anything up here, because there's no wind, typically. But we are all connected up. So, that's all good. Power is coming down through here, presumably. Um, what have we got? Three housing spaces left. Let's open up that one. Okay, good. Right. Uh, I think we're going to need... I've put in two more um, water pumps down here. Um, so that's okay. Uh, water, we're nearly at a thousand. That's fine. Um, food, we are decreasing slightly. So, uh, we did put in steps up to here. So, why not pop ourselves in Another farmhouse. We'll get rid of that little... No, we won't. 
No, we won't. We will continue that path along and we'll put steps in there as well. There we go. That brings it slightly closer to the uh, um, the, the district centre. And we will grow. What will we grow here? Um, we're okay for potatoes. We're okay for wheat. Uh, I mean, we're okay for everything, but... What more should we put in? Hmm. Sunflower seeds. Let's fill this area with sunflower seeds. Yeah, why not? Okay. That's that. Uh, and we currently have enough science to unlock the explosives factory. We need 150 horsepower. Uh, we are now producing wind on this, so we have 1300 horsepower and we're using 460. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right. Yes, I want to unlock this. And I want to put it there. And I want to put a path in there. Like so. Ooh, do I? No, I don't. No, I don't. Well, I will do, but not yet. Okay. Uh, what I want is storage for explosives. Right. And we'll leave it there for that uh, for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. We're doing all right. We've got a bunch of power coming through. We have a stack of housing. Uh, we have a lot of uh, beavers in the um, settlement. I think we're going all right. I mean, we've obviously got a lot of unemployed at the moment as well. Oh, I did put in another builder's hut down here as well to speed things along. Um, wondering what else. I'm wondering, actually, before we go... Yeah. Let's stick ourselves in a water pump up here. Yeah. Good. Right, so next episode we're going to be looking at explosives. We still need to um, get another 400-odd um, science points to actually unlock the use of explosives. But we can make them now, or we will be able to make them shortly. Uh, I think it only uses paper to make them as well, so that's good. Um... Yeah. So, what I want to do next episode, then, is start thinking about districts. Um, I think possibly putting in a district break down here. Um, and popping in some housing and farming around this area. Might be an idea. Uh, but it's definitely going to be an idea to split some of this off into a new district. Uh, possibly even... Hmm, possibly even there. I might rearrange that path if that's the case. Uh, and join on down here. If we zoom in a bit closer. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is if I put in the uh, district gate here. Uh, and put in a path down from up here. Get rid of this path. So this section here stays part of the main district. Uh, and all of this becomes part of the second district. We'd need some food production over here, potentially. But we do again have a lot of food that we could just ship over. Which is essentially what we're doing with the um, uh, potatoes and carrots. Uh, potatoes and bread over here. But yeah, we'll look at that next episode. Well, thanks very much for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please do give us a like and a subscribe if you have. Uh, please give us any comments down below. Thank you very much for the people who have commented and given me advice, especially on all of this stuff. Uh, as you can see, it really helped. Thank you very much. Uh, and please join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Timberborn. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye. <laughs>